All right, so after that mishap, freaking put on a shirt, couldn't get it off because I couldn't reach my arm behind my head. Now can I at least do it? So we got the truck loaded up. Trailer's still full with trash because getting the bathroom redone. So that's been out of commission. So it's literally got all this sitting here. Been putting a little bit out at a time, but trash men are starting to get angry. And I have all this strap, uh, scrap to go to the scrap yard, but cannot take it because trailer's full. Had a heck, heck of a time getting the fridge up there. All right, well, I'm just gonna go meet up with my buddy Dave and go grab lunch and stuff. All right, see you guys at the scrap yard at least. All right, I wanted to get people's opinion. Uh, thinking about getting another car, like a cheaper car, instead of driving my truck everywhere. That way I can look at lockers and everything and not waste as much gas as my truck does. Uh, if you guys think it's worth it, let me know. If you don't think it's worth it, let me know also. That way I have like an honest, honest opinion of what to do. And it will help me out. That way, I don't know. I think a car would cost about three to four thousand for a half decent one that's good on gas and maybe a hundred dollars a month for insurance I gotta fix this fridge it's leaning a little bit but let me guys let me know your guys thoughts That thing was on following me right as I opened it. So, just got to the scrapyard. Now we're going to unload everything. This is the one I cut open with the axe. But, I know a lot of noise for the camera. Surprisingly, it's a busy day for the scrapyard. They don't give me problems about that. Uh, gotta get all this good stuff out of here. Hop up here real quick. Yeah, I just definitely need a chest mount or something. A lot of people saying working with one hand ain't doing that well. Yeah, you're right, but try doing YouTube. It's a pain in the butt. Whew. But I love the people. And I enjoy doing it. It's not like I'm making money. Well, a ton of money off of it. People wonder how much people like me make off of YouTube. I laugh at them. Uh, right now, with YouTube, I'm luckily making 20 bucks a month. I mean, it ain't. It ain't like I'm complaining about it, but it's uh, extra money I didn't have in my pocket before. So I guess it is a little bit worth it. You get like, I want to say three or four dollars, maybe a video. thing people get paid for on YouTube is uh, if you watch it if you watch the ad uh, my buddy Naz was telling me about it if you don't skip the ad uh, we get paid a little bit more for it so those of you who watch me uh, nostalgic and uh, blue bus Dave just let the ad play out for us that way we make a little bit extra. Well, once you hit the Blue Bus Dave's level, <laughs> uh, I don't know how much he makes, but I know it's a lot better than 20 bucks a month like me. And I think Naz makes maybe, I would say a hundred or something. But it is what it is. I 
Yeah, I was unloading this off the trailer. The whole glass busted out all over my yard, which was very annoying. So you see me out there, I got the vacuum out, started vacuuming my yard. And my neighbor comes out, she's looking at me like, what the hell are you doing? And I was like, oh, I had a glass break. She's like, oh, well, that's almost hit my truck. Well, she was like, oh, that's pretty smart then. Oh, I haven't had one of these in a while. Be like a crazy person, start throwing them at people. I just cleaned the bed of my truck now. I already got nails in it again. I really should have gloves on. But all my dang gloves are put away. I bought like 50 pair of them at a yard sale. My wife lost them. Uh, gotta find them again that way I have them for winter. Oh. I know, I'm just trying to get it unloaded. But let me know you guys' uh, comments about uh, if you think I should get another car or something. Like I said, just a little beater, something not too expensive, just to drive around the auction, save some money on gas. Or if you think it's not even worth it, just drive my truck, let me know that also. I dumped all this small stuff in here. I was talking to one person at uh, the storage auction yesterday he watches my videos while he's just going through lockers he doesn't do scrap or nothing very nice guy I hope uh, I inspire a lot of people or teach some people new things I know I'm not the brightest star or the sharpest tool in the shed but I know how to make money without working for the man so I think that's kind of good. And I worked my way up from nothing to where I am now. So I guess that has to count for something. I mean, I didn't get left a trust fund or nothing like that from my parents. I worked my butt off for the truck I have, the stuff I have and everything else. I mean, you guys see some of the complications I run into. You got windows breaking, stuff like that. Ow. All right, I wanted to do something kind of funny. This is Sparta. As long as it don't hit my truck. Uh. Alright, how am I going to do this? That wasn't too bad. All this nasty water. Yeah, but like I was saying, it's not 
Some of the people were asking now, is it worth it on YouTube? Not really exactly, unless you get like a viral video or something. Or if you're bored like me and you want something to do, all your friends are doing it. Okay. Then I guess it's worth doing it because it's like, oh, you have some more to talk about it with your friends. Oh, small piece of copper. We'll leave that. Ah, piece of tile. Alright, that's it. So, let's go see how much we made off of this uh, stuff that was in the bed of my truck. Because I haven't brung a truckload of scrap in a while. Usually, I always bring my trailer. Oh, it's like I say, it's damn. It is not worth scrap whatsoever. 35 bucks. That ain't even enough to fill my truck from coming for coming here. And there was a cop sitting out here earlier, so if I got a ticket, that would be topping off the day. Doesn't say no parking or anything, and there's always people parking out here. Okay, good. No ticket, but dang, $35. That ain't nothing. Wow. So it is only $350 a hundred. Wow. And I was complaining before when it was four or five fifty, now it's three fifty. We ain't making nothing. Alright, well, I guess that's what you get. Wow. Dang, I got all that stuff in my yard and it ain't worth nothing anymore. Now I feel like kind of stupid for holding on to it. Wow. It, it got to bounce back or something. Somebody tell me some good news on YouTube because this isn't, uh, oh my God. I am like shocked and dumbfounded and am I going to fit? Hey, thank you truck. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Cause I need to get gas. And how much are you? Oh, you're too expensive. Yep, not going here. Gas was too expensive there. Time for seatbelt. Alright, well, thank you everyone for watching our one of my adventures. Doesn't look like I'll be scrapping much more. And uh, so far, uh, videos are starting to slow down because it's winter time and I have no like good content to put out. And uh, we're getting rainy days like it is today, so you can't be outside scrapping very much with like power tools and stuff. All right, well, if you guys haven't so far, uh, please like and subscribe. It'll help me do more videos, and uh, we'll catch you next time. All right, bye. Oh, and any time at the scrapyard, you gotta remember, they always jip you a little bit because there's no way I had exactly a 1,000 pounds. So I could have probably had over a little bit or maybe under a little bit. I'd rather see it like how much I had not oh you just round it up to a thousand pounds or you'll round it down to a thousand pounds to me it feels like it's jipping me like i like other scrap yards where it shows you exactly like all right you had 970 pounds we're rounding you up to a thousand pounds we're giving you a free extra 30 pounds or if you had uh 940 pounds we're rounding you down 40 pounds because you're under the halfway limit and that's how we do it at this place but I don't know so that's what I don't really like 
because what if I like 300 pounds over and they just want to be uh, dicks and just round it down 300 pounds to a thousand pounds in my eyes it feels like uh, they could just enter their own weight all right well that's my thoughts